One year ago, in my Road to Headhunter series, I catalogued and documented my journey into farming 25,000 Chaos Orbs to purchase a Headhunter. The goal? To show everyone how dedication and consistency can lead to great currency growth within Path of Exile. In this new series, I will migrate from Solo Self Found with 5 Exalted Orbs and a handful of items into Harvest Trade League, documenting every single step of the way towards the most expensive currency item in the game. Introducing The Road to Mirror. Welcome! It's your friendly neighborhood Badger here, and I am back for a very exciting new project on the horizon. As you may have seen by the intro and the title, welcome to the Road to Mirror. Uh, if any of you have seen my uh, pretty much the first content I ever produced, which was my Road to Headhunter series, basically I did this back in Legion League, which was almost a year ago, and I farmed up currency for a headhunter over I think about 45 hours of gameplay uh, just to show people that pretty much just through hard work and dedication within the game of Path of Exile you can grind up any sort of currency you want on builds with minimal budget. Uh, I have decided uh, due to uh, my time in SSF coming to a close in terms of the builds I'm creating there and wanting to push even further builds in Trade League I am now starting the Road to Mirror. What does this entail? I am going to be playing a character uh, in Trade League, starting from the very beginning, as you can see here in my stash, I have brought over only a couple of things, pretty much five Exalted Orbs that I did find on SSF, and some leveling gear, and then everything else, I have pretty much nothing anywhere. We are starting from a clean slate. And over however long it will take us, we're going to be farming up all of the currency to purchase a mirror. Now, there are a few very interesting things with this little uh, this little project that we do have going on here. At the moment, mirror prices are rising. So we are on a race against the clock, or a race against the price of mirror, as you could say. So every day, it's going to be getting a little bit further away from us. So we're going to have to be making a lot of money. There's lots of different ways I'm going to be doing this, but mostly all of this is going to be done on stream. Uh, first of all, there is a link down below if you want to come hit and give me a follow. And at the beginning of uh, all of these videos, when these videos get uploaded for every day, I will be starting stream as well on the next day. And then pretty much every day that we do one of these videos, uh, I will be streaming the next day. So you can come and check out what we're doing. You can learn some tips and everything like that. You can come chat with everyone here, chat, say hi. I am recording this live on stream right now. And you can come see me try to make as much currency as we can. The build that we are playing is going to be a Summon Skeleton Necromancer. At the moment, I've just finished leveling uh, the axe, so this is considered day zero. So we have not started the challenge yet, but tomorrow, uh, or pretty much today, as this video is being uploaded, uh, the challenge is starting, and day one will start. Uh, so we are level 61 at the moment, we are severely underleveled, we have uh, 1,638 life, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is exhausting all of this 5 Exalted Orbs that I brought over from SSF to gear my character for maps. And then from there we are just slamming maps. The first goal is going to be getting as far as we can in the Atlas, getting up into those T16 maps, grinding T16 maps, and seeing where that puts us. Uh, that is how everything is going to go there. Every day or every couple of days, we're going to try different ways of making currency. I suspect that uh, the best way to make currency is going to be crafting things with seed crafting and selling them off. I think we're going to make a lot of money that way. Uh, but there's going to be lots and lots of different things uh, happening over here on Twitch. Uh, as I said, there will be a, uh, a build... Um, uh, sorry, a... a daily update every day so you can see all the progress there. I'm going to be basically, uh, as you can see over in the corner, wait, this way, uh, we have uh, the number of days that we've uh, taken for the mirror and the percentage of completion. So how much of our uh, currency uh, we have compared to how much a mirror costs. So the way that we're going to be uh, calculating all of this is through a program called Excellence Next. 
If you have not used Exilence Next or Excellence Next, however you would like to pronounce it, it's a really, really great program where you can load in your stash tabs. So you can go here to edit profile. Let's call this Road to Headhunter here. And we set the uh, pricing league of harvest and my league of... Uh, oh, it's not even showing up as harvest yet because I think I have to refresh everything here. So let's fetch a snapshot and see if that works. Anyway, you select harvest as well there because I've only just started harvest trade league. It shows you everything you've got in your stash or you can select certain uh, stash tabs that you want. Just one dump tab or anything like that. That's totally fine. Uh, and uh, let me just double check and see if everything's sorted here. It's still not going to show me my uh, harvest yet. Uh, but basically, I'd select Harvest, I would then uh, select all of the stash tabs I want to calculate all the currency in, and uh, every day we're probably going to be dumping everything every day into a dump tab like this one here. So every day, at the end of the day, I can have a look, this is how much currency we made today, put that into the total, sort it all out, and then move forward the next day. So it's going to be very categorized, it's going to be very descriptive in the way that I go about all of this. So hopefully you'll learn a few things. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I'll try and respond to as many questions as I can. And you can come ask any questions over at twitch.tv slash thisisbadgergaming as well. That is pretty much all I have to say. This has been day zero of the Road to Mirror. I hope you are all excited. I'm extremely excited to get this project underway. And lastly, I know there's been a few builds that I've been making and trying to figure out if they're worthy of build guides. In Trade League, once we're done with the Road to Mirror, I'm going to be able to use that mirror to create lots of build guides for you all, which is going to be really fun. So stay tuned for that. There will also be, uh, hopefully, a build guide for this uh, Necromancer Skelomancer as well, uh, Summon Skeletons. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And until next time, Badger out.